Hey guys, this is Cobb and this is the second video of my Warlock Pet Control series. Every video will be about a different Warlock Demon, covering how and where they should be used as well as which macros I find useful as well. This video will be all about the Fell Hunter pet, probably the most used Warlock pet at this time in the game. Before we start, an epically fast overview of the Fell Hunter itself for anyone who doesn't play at Warlock. The Fell Hunter is a melee pet dealing damage with Shadow Bite. It can purge magic buffs and effects from enemies using Devour Magic and of course has the ability to silence enemies with Spell Lock, which is why it's the most used pet in arenas. Specking into Grimoire of Supremacy will turn your Fell Hunter into a floating head called an Observer whose Spell Lock becomes Optical Blast, dealing damage as well as silencing. Devour Magic also becomes Clone Magic, which is basically a spell steal. If you summon a second Fell Hunter with Grimoire of Service, it will immediately cast a Spell Lock, which is really, really good, and sacking your Fell Puppy will grant you the ability Spell Lock itself. Now, before we get into some clips, I will quickly run through the macros I find useful when playing a Fell Hunter. First off, a Focus Silence macro, always needed when you have an Interrupt ability. Use it to Spell Lock or Optical Blast your Focus target without having to switch off of your Kill target. I also have a slash stop casting line at the front of this macro as I play with a pet sacrificed a lot of the time. This makes it so I automatically cancel my cast if I want to spell lock someone. And if you're wondering why there is a slash cast grimoire of sacrifice at the end in there, you're about to find out. The next is a very very interesting macro I made recently, the spell lock sacrifice macro. What you do with this is start out with the fell hunter summoned. Now when I spell lock to Korra's Castia, notice that I sacrifice my Fell Hunter at the same time. As now when she tries to cast again, I have a second spell lock, as this spell lock doesn't share the same cooldown as my pets. This is actually quite OP if you learn to do it mid-fight, as if you have a spare ember, you can always Flames of Zoroth to res up a pet and do this whole sequence again. Spell lock with your pet, sacrifice your pet, spell lock again. So for me, this is an amazing macro which I 100% recommend using, if not in BGs, definitely in arenas as Destro. Alright, so when is the best time to use a Fell Hunter and which Grimoire is generally the strongest? Again, we're going to start with Battlegrounds. Grimoire of Supremacy is decently strong but doesn't really offer much more than a pet with more health and a damaging silence ability and this might be the best choice for Affliction Warlocks but for Destruction spec, I feel that other Grimoires have so much more to offer in Battleground PvP. Grimoire of Service is amazing for summoning a second Fell Hunter to land a sneaky spell lock on an unsuspecting healer, but I would not recommend using a Fell Hunter as your main pet as well while running Service. You would be much much better off using a Succubus or something, and then summoning a second Fell Hunter when you could really really use a Silence, but I'll be going more into this in a future pet guide when I'll be focusing on Succubus Battleground player. So for me, the champion of the Grimoires for Battleground play as Destruction is the Grimoire of Sacrifice, and this is because the raw burst damage it provides is very important Battlegrounds to quickly wipe enemies. And using the double spell lock trick I showed earlier in the macro, you can spell lock insane amounts to hard counter pretty much every caster that you're going to face. However, I will say that in general, I don't recommend using a Fell Hunter in Battleground PvP as Destruction spec. It can be strong and sometimes even OP against casters, but will give you no extra defences at all against melees, and on maps where you can knock people off of edges, I feel you find a lot more success using something like a Succubus. This is however just my opinion and does not apply to rated battlegrounds where a Fell Hunter is probably going to be your pet of choice in most cases. For normal battlegrounds however it's not my pet of choice, but if you're facing a caster heavy team or on a map like Warsong and you feel it's more important to be able to spell lock a healer for example then by all means go for the Fell Hunter. Supremacy Grimoire as Affliction, Sacrifice as Destro. Alright, now for arenas. Again, Supremacy is the go-to talent for Affliction Warlocks here. The Observer will maintain good constant damage while spell stealing enemy buffs onto itself. And it has more health than a regular pet, so it'll be able to take a few more punches to the head before it goes down. However, for Destruction, there is only one real choice for arena and it is not Supremacy. Grimoire of Service, though potentially strong in some cases, will very often lead to enemies just killing off your demons very, very quickly as they have much less health, so it pretty much isn't an option in competitive arena. Grimoire of Sacrifice solves the issue of your pets dying by killing them yourself, and it's definitely the strongest Grimoire for destruction arenas for more reasons than just that. 
The bonus damage it gives will obviously help out with bursting targets down, but the main strength again is going to come from that macro I keep on banging on about, as you can see in this clip here. I completely peel this Frost Mage opening damage by spell locking his first cast right about here. Then, because of the macro, my pet is sacrificed at the same time, meaning I get a second new shiny spell lock and I can silence him again almost completely after. And of course, if I want to do this combo again later in this game, I can raise my pet up with Flames of Zoroff. In this clip right here, I actually silence both the Warlock and the Resto Shaman's Hex by using both my pets and then my spell lock right after one another. So it really is an amazing talent and like I said earlier, pretty much overpowered and probably a bug at that, but honestly, even if this double spell lock trick was to be fixed, the extra raw burst damage sacrifice gives you would still make it the most potent talent overall for Destruction Arena PvP. So overall, if you are going to run with a Fell Hunter in Battlegrounds, Supremacy for Affliction and usually Sacrifice for Destruction. But having said that, while using Sacrifice for Destruction is good in RBGs, in regular Battlegrounds I personally find that using either an Imp or a Succubus is best. Just making use of the Fell Hunter using Grimoire of Service for a bonus spell lock when it's really really needed. In Arenas, again Supremacy is pretty standard for Affliction here and Sacrifice is, I'd say, baseline required for Destruction. The ability to spell lock people twice, then res up your pet with Flames of Zoroth and do it again every one minute is just amazing. And even if the ability to do this trick is taken away as it perhaps was unintended, the extra burst damage is more useful than the more consistent damage you'd get from using a pet. Alright guys, that's all for this demon guide. I really, really hope that you learned something new about the Fell Hunter pet. Uh, the next video will cover the pet I find the most fun to use, which is the Succubus. But until then, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next in this series. And I will see you all later.